Hello every horse, it's Owen here for the sixth episode of the Equestria Confidential Podcast for Sunday the 26th of May 2013. I even forgot what the day and the date was a moment there. You got Saved there it. eventually, you got there. Yeah, I believe so. I'm joined by Matt and Christian as you can hear in the background as always. So how, how are you two feeling? I am doing absolutely great. How are you doing Owen? I'm doing pretty good. Actually, I'm 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 pumped to get some pumped. podcasting out. Pumped. Yeah, I'm yeah. pumped too. Are you pumped, Christian? Uh, Are you ready? Ready? You 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 don't even care if I'm ready. Ready? I d- of were, course we I were, care. We were planning to do this podcast an hour earlier, and I completely delayed everything. You don't care what I think. I've annoyed you way too much. Today. We waited for you. That, that's <laughs> how much you mean to us. We were like, yeah. we're just going to let Christian, Christian do we, his thing. Christian, we love you. Why Why would you do this to us? Of um, and tolerance. <laughs> I'm sitting here on my computer as, as, as people on Steam. <laughs> now playing Payday the Heist. But no, I'm sitting here doing the podcast, even though I, you know, arrived an hour later than what you wanted. It's fine, Christian. It's, I, you need Are you, like, trying analysis, to hurt our feelings? Yeah. Like, you, oh, I'd rather play Payday, but I guess I'll <laughs> talk to you guys if I have to. You need my unique insight, such as it that was, was good, <laughs> and this was also good, and that wasn't good. Uh, so it's that, that kind of... What will we analysis. do? What would we do exactly. without you, Christian? What would we do without you? Oh, Matt, so you've got an interesting story to tell. <laughs> interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah, totally. Well, in this week's exciting conclusion of chair talk, my chair, the, uh, well, if you didn't listen to last week's, I basically said that a couple of the wheels fell off. Um, the back of my chair has literally torn in half. <laughs> Uh, so my chair doesn't have a back anymore and it doesn't have uh, it has one wheel so I'm using like a garden chair at the moment nice like, yeah so I'm uh, keeping it classy with uh, the whole my podcasting rig uh, but that's it for chair talk I think that's going to be the last episode my chair's not looking too good at the moment yeah. Owen you had a story to tell as well well, I do have a story to tell as well, uh, and in in one of my wild fantasies, actually, in a dream I had last <laughs> wow. night. Wow, <laughs> wild fantasies. Okay. In a in a dream I had last night, um, I well, I I had a weird dream basically, where um where Matt and Christian, as, Matt and Christian, as they do, they they usually up quite late in the night. I, I'll come on in the morning on Skype, and there'll be a chat log that lasts until about three in the morning until they go. And because of that, I kind of feel like I've left. I'm, I'm kind of left out. And uh, in my dream, Aww. in my dream, um, I, I had a, I dreamt that uh, you got an email on the Equestria Confidential email, and it said, uh, and one of you was just checking it, just from just at random, and it said like, "Hey, we're doing an MLP convention," and it was hey, we're doing an MLP convention, and like the actual convention was the next day, and it was like an email said like, "Do you want to come?" to the convention and like have your own panel there and everything and you two are like yeah sure why not <laughs> and um, and so you go to this convention because you go like early in the morning to go to this convention like before i've woken up and then i get on skype in the morning and i'm like where are you guys and like one of you's on your phone or something and then you're like oh yeah we've gone to this convention uh, to this MLP convention, and like you've got this, and I'm watching it like on this stream on YouTube, and you've got like this massive, great big crowd turns up for this panel, this like the EQC panel. I shit you not, it was kind of like if you've ever seen the uh, the the kind of crowd that they got at the voice actors panel at BronyCon, it was like that kind of size, but just you two at the front. Just well, we about... are like we are pretty important. You well, know? exactly. That that's why it's in my wild fantasies because yeah, EQC Stop calling is... them fantasies. Are EQC we? is just that big. I mean, yeah. So yeah, I had a dream where you just ditched me to go to some big convention, but you were and... asleep anyway. So but yeah, but I, but it was all a dream. But I just woke up thinking, what the fuck? Like, yes, what you just there? woke. Up, you just woke up, be like. Fucking Matt and Christian <laughs> just left me, dicks. And then you never oh. talked to us again. Yeah, and uh, yeah, 
Uh, but I was... <laughs> I had no idea where that came from, and I seem to remember Christian made up some like bullshit excuse. Was like, oh, well, it was it was too far for you, Owen. Anyway, oh, so Christian and his bullshit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, even in, even in my dreams, Christian bu- makes bullshit excuses. I mean, that's how realistic that dream felt to me. Wow, <laughs> such a thing that Don't... you do, Christian. Yeah. come up with bullshit. <laughs> and then Christian's yeah. like in the middle of the uh, panel. Christians are like, you know. Rather than doing this panel, uh, I'd rather we just be like playing Payday the Heist. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then he like so walks off and it just the me. audience. Oh. You can have a look at that panel if you go on Everfree's uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> um, it, it wasn't a dream, Owen. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so, oh. So that's my wild dreams. I. I I, I, God. Owen's wild fantasies about Chris and Matt. My wild fantasies about <laughs> Christian, Matt, and hundreds of other people. All of them lining up to sniff Christian and Matt. Anyway. Um, <laughs> right. News! Let's, let's swiftly get on to the news. And the first item of the news in, in merchandise news, uh, you can now, from Hot Topic, buy Rainbow Dash Hot Pants. Was that in your dream too? Did that like relate to? Unfortunately, no. This is either of us wearing rainbow dash hot pants. No, no, no. That's unfortunate. But yeah, um, I, I, this is a thing, I guess. <laughs> it's but... uh, yeah, it's definitely a thing. Chris has ordered ten already. Oh yeah, of course. Why haven't you um, <laughs> why haven't you uh, read out the uh, description on Hot Topics website? Oh. <laughs> The, I don't. I don't know. We are. We are a safe for work website, Krishna. I, I think that's a bit yeah, cross in the wait, back. Hang on. Don't it you? Says, um, <laughs> no, um, it says uh, black, uh, black and rainbow stripe hot pants with rainbow dash on the bum. <gasps> it said bum. <laughs> that's rude. It uh, should have said plot. Uh, yeah. uh, these are things myself. that exist. And you yeah, so uh, if you really care, right? Moving on, um, <laughs> the uh, the American News Network uh, News Four apparently they want to hear from us fans about why we like the show, and uh, they've sent out uh, they posted an article on their website a couple of days ago, which I have pretty much repeated on EQC, which. Um, which basically says they want to see some 20 second clips from fans of the show, basically saying why they like the show, uh, stuff about the, what favorite characters, favorite episodes, maybe something about the writers. They, they even said that's going to be a lot to put into 20 seconds. Well, no, but I mean, but I mean, they, they kind of mean don't talk about all of this. Just pick one thing in particular that makes you that. Is a good enough reason to watch the show, whether it be the writers, the animation, the favorite episode, favorite character, etc., etc. Um, you know, Chris, you need to do this because literally, you won't even need twenty seconds. You could just say it's, it's good. good, and they'd but be like, like, and they'd put you straight on. Yeah, but the the, the thing is, this is this is News Seven, a local news uh, station in Alabama, obviously in the South. Um, so the, the question will be something along the lines of uh, so well actually I'm not going to say it because, because someone's going to yell at me like I'm going to have to edit that out Christian, Christian yeah Christian, I, I have a feeling about what you were going to say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Christian can I say it's it's not it's News 4 who are from Ohio so it's not Alabama uh, uh, not Alabama not face. It's, uh, and, and I, I'm judging Based on the way they wrote the article, that it seems pretty, it seems pretty positive, and they're they, they're saying that they'll take any footage from anyone in the world. Uh, in fact, any they think, well, no, well, uh, they said they'll take people from anyone in the world. But in fact, they encourage it because it kind of shows that maybe it's not just a an American thing. I Let's guess send them all the spag. But yeah, I mean, but it's yeah, Alabama. What <laughs> I could Alabama, have twenty seconds it? of me eating sworn it uh, was. MLP spag hoops. I could have sworn it was. I I I could have sworn it was. I looked it up. <laughs> I've done it now. It's it's W T Y V. Yeah, look at the W T E Y. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Dothan, Alabama. Really? Owen, you fucked up. 
Oh well. What 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 can you blow it, Owen? What can I say? I messed it up. Could have sworn it was a. Oh, we've we've investigative journalism that bad. You might as well just work for Questia Daily. Whoa! 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 Whoa. No. The the opinions I'm expressing in this podcast are entirely the opinions shared by the rest of Equestria Confidential. No! <laughs> Shut the of you. I love Equestria Shut Daily. Up. I go there every Shut single day for all my news. The only Shut place better up. is Equestria Confidential. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Right. I'm going to have to edit that out now. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, they want, they, I mean, they say send us via. Facebook, Twitter, email us the videos, whatever. Um, but yeah, um, I know I kind of, I kind of made me think that maybe is this kind of an attempt to, uh, to maybe I don't know redeem, redeem ourselves. ourselves. Yeah, redeem ourselves in the eyes of the public after we've had a few years ago Fox saying that we claim on benefits for disability of some bollocks like that, and then wear diapers. What? Yeah, yeah. Red- yeah. And then rigged Jerry Springer appearances and stuff like that. And I just think, is this an attempt to redeem us? Will it redeem us in the eyes of the public? No. <laughs> Probably not. Quite to the no. main limited uh, audience of news for Alabama. Okay, fine, Chuff. Ohio. <laughs> I, I this one is Ohio when I looked it Somewhere up. in America. You know, it's not that big of a place. It's somewhere there. Shut up, you. Um, I could have sworn it's Ohio. I, I, oh, well. Well, you swore wrong, Owen. Yeah. There you go, Owen. <laughs> yeah, uh, really, I mean, it, it, it's nice that there is a news network that is going to show signs and positive light on us, but I don't think it's going to really kind of... Are they Fo- hmm? Fox News has had a, uh, had a good crack at it. It was CNN that had the uh, best one. So Which far. one was the C- CNN one? The one that was actually, like... Uh, it wasn't really, like... There wasn't anything that particularly stood out about it. It was just kind of nice... Oh, yes. <laughs> the way they put it, I'll, uh... I think I have watched it. I think it's the only one that CNN did. So if you just look it up on uh, YouTube later, well, I, do, on, I, I think be... I think I have seen. Speaking of um, news appearances, actually, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna digress a bit. Um, oh, you know, a while ago they were talking about like microtransactions in free games and stuff. And uh, yeah, the, the like, iPhone and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was this morning in the UK. Um, with uh, the, with that guy on it, I can't remember his name. Philip Schofield. That's the one. Um, <laughs> and and they, basically they were read. They basically they were getting emails from like developers of these games, and um, there was a, and they, they got an email from Gameloft, which said, "Would you like to buy some gems, Philip Schofield? <laughs> <laughs> no, you could have Rainbow Dash right now." No, no, they got an email from Gameloft. You know. They got an email from Gameloft, which I thought was quite funny because, um, well, at least their reaction to it was quite funny because the email said, in, like, they briefly read it a bit. They said uh, where they said, um, where they said something like, "Oh, my little pon- the My Little Pony iPhone game is enjoyed by people of all audiences, including um, male teens and everything," and they were just like, "What?" What, who is playing these games? And I just thought it was. And hilarious. then a massive picture of Owen popped up. <laughs> this one. This guy. Who's this fucking no, guy? This. But what yeah. a freak! Well, I just thought it was. But their reaction to it was like, "What kind of teens are playing the My Little Pony game?" And I just thought, "Oh man, you have no idea, Philip Schofield." Not a clue. And it was just, I just found Bang it. Hang your fedora in shame. <laughs> I just thought it funny that he was so, he was so blissfully unaware. And it, oh, man. To be unaware. Uh, he, he would be after, like, he, he's pretty isolated in uh, the cube. Yeah, yes. <laughs> God, anyone outside the UK is not going to know what you're talking about. <laughs> the cube change, contemplate. Male teens playing the MLP game. I, I just can't. I can't. I, I'm going to. I'm going to get it simplified for me. I just can't get it round. I, I don't. I can't. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, the 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 cube challenge is <laughs> contemplate grown men watching My Little Pony. I can't do it. The simplifier is contemplate male teens watching it. <laughs> just oh, it's, it's still pretty hard. Still pretty difficult. 
You gotta sit on that two grand. You gotta sit there for like ten minutes and contemplate it. All that time. See, that's why no one's won. That's what the last what the challenge. Fuck, is. are you guys talking about? <laughs> talking about the? Have you never watched what? TV, Matt? <laughs> Sorry, I just watched cartoons. But Sorry, go. This is a discussion for another day. But that's yeah, the cube. Yeah, like no one's gonna fucking know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, me, and Christian... confidential. <laughs> me and Christian yeah it really is confidential fuck <laughs> yeah uh, yeah sorry we've got we've sidetracked a bit so yeah news for <laughs> doing a thing they want you to send their shit to their twitter their facebook their emails whatever by the 29th of may so you got you got until wednesday of the of the week of recording um yeah got a lot of time for 20 you could... seconds you, yeah, I mean, you can, you can check... send in hundreds of those things. <laughs> yeah, you could. You can um, you can check the links on the article. In fact, you can check everything we've mentioned on our articles on the website questionconfidential.co.uk. Um, so yeah. Uh, speaking of stuff that needs to be done by Wednesday, we have another thing that needs to be done by Wednesday. Actually, Wednesday is a quite a popular day. Uh, Truffle Shuffle. You may have remembered a while ago they started a competition where you sent in your designs for MLP T-shirts. And they were like, yeah, we'll pick the best designs and sell them. Um, they have picked their favorite designs. They have a final 11, which seems a bit of an odd number to choose from. But hey, they have a final 11. And it's because they would have had 10, but one was just so good. Yeah. Ob- yeah, obviously. Um, yeah. Personally, uh, I don't think all of the designs are that great. But um, uh, I mean, I'm well, not, there's. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be picky and say this person's design is shit in case like they ever were listening and then were uh, like. Uh, well, the thing is, it's like most of them are pretty good, like art wise. There's one of them, the vinyl scratch one, that's like cropped wrong. So like, you're there's... not meant to mention the specifics, Matt. You dick. Well, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to interrupt. This is the first time I've actually... I, I scan read the article. I didn't look at all the T-shirt designs. Really sorry to interrupt. But there's one T-shirt that says, This shirt just got spiked. Obviously, a double entendre to the character spike and date rape. What? Oh, fuck. What? <laughs> date rape? This, this, this shirt... Just they made the joke spiked, in the show as, in as well. Spiking yeah, yeah. someone's drink. Yeah, they made the joke in the show as well, Christian. Do you not remember? This punch what? just got spiked, yeah. remember? Yeah. And Spike was asleep by the punch the ball? The punch! Oh, yeah, I remember. It's the it's exact same thing. joke, oh, except it makes it less terrible. They made it in the show, Christian. That is... I don't know what to think anymore. That's terrible. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Christian. Wow, okay. You, like, the whole point so of that I... joke in the show was because kids wouldn't get it. I'm going to have to sit down for a moment. Oh, my it's God. It's not odd. to lie down. This shit, this shit just, just got spiked. Just got spiked. <laughs> yeah, anyway, you can go yeah, on. Yeah, so... Uh, you can, you can look at the spikes. like 20 minutes. Oh, my God. You can well, it's not like, like you say anything usually anyway. Yeah. But all right, so <laughs> the shirts are actually pretty good. That I personally, I can't really see myself wearing any because I'm kind of into more, I guess, subtle designs. Personally, uh, I would, I, I wouldn't mind owning that Rainbow Dash one that was all the the all the words one. Words, yeah, yeah, I quite like words. that. But that's all but, I can yeah, see. I mean, because it's got other stuff as well. But yeah, the um. The designs, like, from an artistic standpoint, are great. Um, and, yeah, I mean... So you can go there and vote until Wednesday, wasn't it, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's until Wednesday, yeah. You can, go on the, you can go on the blog, you can check the full list, and you can vote for, you can vote for them by their gender as well. So, I, so that just means that people are going to miss out on some shirts. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, you can go. You can go on, and you can say, "I would, I, I vote for this shirt, and I would vote for it to be a uh, female design or a male design." I think there's like one of the t-shirts are ahead on the female design, and I don't think it's in the top three, which we haven't mentioned. But the top three will be the ones that are produced, um, and sold, I guess. Uh, so yeah, but, yeah. There's so if going by the current voting. They're all going to be male and not one that I particularly want. Yeah. I don't really particularly. Oh, no, no. There's, there's a. 
sorry, there's a, there's a comment on the article saying that uh, the winning shirt will be uh, produced both uh, male and female. Oh, right, but, okay. Um, it's I, I don't get why they separate the vote like that, because the winning three will get both anyway. But That seems weird. There we go. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty weird. But yeah, the, the, in the article that they mentioned, actually, there was... Um, in the in in sorry the the blog post where they list them all, there's actually a, I want to briefly mention this. There's actually a, a, a mention at the end of their interaction with Hasbro UK on this, um, because of course they have to because they're license owners and they they own the license to the franchise. Yeah, yeah. Of course they have to, and it just made me think that it's um, maybe just maybe if Hasbro UK realise that there are people here who will want to buy this shit. For the older audience, maybe they'll start doing stuff for us. We can have the Hub UK. I would love that. Only on it the could Hub. could happen. Only it on the Hub. Happen. See, I'd just be watching Littlest Pet Shop instead. Dancing Shut like up. I know I can. Oh, we're not Matt, Matt, Matt please, Matt. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. All right. So, you can go on the website, you can vote for your favourite designs, and the top three will get picked. And there you go, then. Uh, we'll see. Well, they'll probably announce it like as soon as possible, since all it will take is them to count the votes. And yeah, and then they'll probably just post a blog. But uh, now I'll, I'll keep I'll keep you up to date uh, when they do post the blog about it and show you the winners. And yeah, so yeah, that's all right. Yeah, the shirts are nice, and you should go vote. Yes. Last bit of news this week is a bit of news from Buck. They have announced uh, details on the on their charity auction. Uh, that includes both details on where the charity is or where the money is going to, and also a plea for people to donate items. Um, there's a link on the article we've got on the website, which is uh, to a thread on UK of Equestria, which is the where you can vote for the charity that you wish all the money to go to. I'm not sure what the highest is at the moment. Um, I believe when I last checked it was something about... Um, I can't remember. Uh, the the highest of the winning charity. Yeah, yeah, so far. So it's a cardiac risk for the, uh, the young. At the that's the moment. One. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I, so that's currently the winning charity, but you can go and on there and they've got a post with information about all the charities and then you can go vote on that uh yeah and they also want uh they would also like people to donate stuff to to go in the auction i guess um and if you do want to donate something into the auction to the auction then they want you to send an email to them at publicity at buttcon.org um you can also find that on the website or on the on the on the article on a question confidential and yeah I yeah, donate and, uh, a, a thread of uh, John Delancey's pubic hair. Shut up! <laughs> right, uh, but yeah, so for Buck, um, if you're still interested in going, I think the next wave of tickets as of this recording come uh, June 3rd. So if you're looking to okay. still go, then... Yeah, yeah that's when... Yeah, I, 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 I won't be going... Probably. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of I do want to go, but I I can't I afford got, it. I've not got the yeah. money. I've not got the time to be totally honest. Um, I need to sort out like holiday and shit. But I definitely want to go yeah. next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think go next. Don't wait. Hmm? Me and Matt will uh, go while you're asleep. Yeah, yeah. We'll get panel. like an invitation tonight. And you'll have a panel. Yeah. Oh. And Christian will walk out. Yeah. And play payday. <laughs> It's good. It but then, good they'll, but then they'll walk out just to try and get a glimpse of Delancey. <laughs> oh. John right. Delancey, like after Chris has left, John Delancey will just walk on and be like, I wanted to give Chris a big hug. But he's and gone. He'll look really sad and disappointed and Chris yeah. has already gone. Yeah. <sighs> Christian, you utter disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? Oh. Right. So, well, yeah, that pretty much wraps up the news for this week. Uh, as mentioned earlier on, you can go in on the website questionconfidential.co.uk and you can look through all of the news articles for more information, maybe stuff that we've missed, uh, links provided and whatever. You can go on the website to find all of those, all that jazz. Um, but I suppose 
it is that time of the podcast where every week we pick a topic to talk about. And this week, it's a rather, rather interesting topic because this week we're going to be discussing kind of how we got into the show in a way, like how we found out about it, first impressions, what led us to watch the show and everything. And then, and then kind of, I don't know. Yeah. Basically, that's what we're going to discuss. Yeah. So, uh, um, Owen, since you started watching the show first, you should probably go first. Yeah, um, as, yeah. So as Matt says, I started watching the show first, which I didn't even realize until. We yeah, I only I told him that today because he thought I watched it first. I did. I I, did, I, I, I seem to remember. I seem to remember you saying that you what that you started watching the show at the beginning of season two. Uh, ah no. Yeah, but, but I was before you, so. That was the end. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yes. Yeah, so I guess I will start. Um, it was, it was many years ago, probably 2011. Um, I think maybe it was early 2011. I was in a Skype call with Christian and a couple of other friends, and or like Christian invited me into this Skype call, and one of the first things he says in this Skype call is, um, "Do you know what a brony is?" And I'm like, "No." I remember this. Do you? I I remember. I remember it quite. (laughs) I remember really well. He was like, "Do you know what a brony is?" And I was like, "No." And he was all like, "Well," and and, but basically, you were just kind of like, "Oh, sit down, Owen, and let me tell you," kind of thing. Um, basically, and then (laughs) we're like, and then you were just like, you told me like, "Oh, basically, it's just someone who watches the My Little Pony cartoon." And I was like, "I I didn't even know there was a cartoon, like ever." I didn't know there was one in the 80s. I didn't know there was the one, like, the more recent one. I didn't know there was the one when I was growing up. I didn't know there was the, like, the DVD releases the from, like, two, late 2008 kind of time. Uh, I didn't know anything about the about a TV show. But um, you basically just said, like, you basically just said this and said someone in particular who um, we have history with watched it and it made our history with them rather hilarious um i uh, i, 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 I sure who you're talking about do you not um, um let's call this... him the big machine queen l the big l the oh big l. Oh, the big l by okay. the way um for anyone listening this was long before i'd ever spoken to these guys yeah, so yeah we didn't know who matt was at this point yeah so i i this is news to me as well and apparently news to christian yeah he doesn't seem to know either i i remember that well i remember it because it was the first time i heard about this and i was just an utter shock i was just in a kind of state of what and then the Owen was like, song. you're all a bunch of perverts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, but I was just, I was just, I was just, I didn't get it. I mean, it was just, it, like, I, I kind of, I got, I had no idea what it was all about. And then at that point, I, at that point, I just, I started noticing it everywhere. Like, I don't know if it was like, it suddenly got big, like soon after I, after Christian told me about it. Or if it just, or if it genuine, or if I just started looking at it, or if I started just picking it out a lot more, thinking, the fuck is this? Why are people interested in this shit? This just seems so weird. And, um, and basically as the year went on, I remember, I remember when season one ended and my Skype feed was just flooded with people updating their mood thing or whatever or their status on skype that basically just said like oh i'm so sad to see the first series of mlp end and everything and (laughs) and i was just like shut the fuck up and then within no time at all it seemed like it was flooded again with i'm so glad season two has started and so i and it was and it was weird but it like weird thinking that when i didn't watch it the gap between season one and two felt like no time at all. When I did watch it, the gap between season two and three felt like forever. <laughs> I mean, it, it felt like waiting for an eternity and filling up time for an eternity. This gap hasn't felt so long because we filled it with doing this every week. So I've got a reference point, but that gap <laughs> felt like 
forever. I'm, I'm sidetracked a bit. But anyway, um, yeah, but as the year went on, I started seeing a lot more stuff and I started seeing like fan art of it and deviant art and videos on YouTube would pop up on like stuff on the side and everything. And, um, and I don't know, I, there was a point where I was, um, where I watched something. I, I, I think I watched a friendship is witchcraft thing before I got into the show very briefly I kind of saw like someone had sent a video in like a Skype group I was in. And well, like was, this is what the show's it, like. No, no, it was related to Friendship is Witchcraft, and I knew it was a parody thing. But I was just kind of like, I I watched like a bit of it, and I was kind of like, okay, whatever. And then um, it was after the Halloween episode in season two. Um. Someone had sent me the video in the same Skype group, which was still going on at that point. Um, someone had sent me, someone had posted the video clip of the Luna and Fluttershy scene where they were all like, where they were all, where Luna's trying to be quiet and talk less loud. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And and I was and I was there and I was watching it. And then about halfway through the video, I start to kind of smirk a bit and laugh a bit. And at that point, I just instantly closed the window. Um, and that, was, <laughs> that was really kind of... At that point in my head, I was like... "This." Oh. Yeah, at that point in my head, I was like, no, you're not doing this, Owen. <laughs> you're Please. not liking this. <laughs> and then in the back of your mind, screaming, digress. <laughs> Oh, but, stuff that nobody listening or I don't, no, I don't think Matt will get it either. No, no, oh. I, I get the no regrets. Shut up. Anyway, but yeah, so, so that happened, and I was kind of like at that point, I was kind of like, no, no, not doing this. No, no, go away. Um, <laughs> and then bad thoughts. Yeah, yeah, and then that, and then I kind of just ignored it for ages. And then, as I mentioned, in as we mentioned, not in the last week, in the week before, um, the first episode I watched was uh, It's About Time. And I watched it the day after it came out because a friend of mine had favoured it or liked it or something on YouTube. Um, and I saw the title and I thought... Oh boy, time oh. travel! Yeah, I saw that and I thought, you know... It's about time travel, I'm guessing. And if it's they about can, time I watch this show. If if they can oh. do it well, it might be all right. And so I just sat there and I prepared myself for it. <laughs> and I was like, you were, you were ready. Your mouse, your mouse pointer was on the X button. It was on the X button. If you smirked once, it was going. <laughs> I watched it and I just and I sat there and I watched the full episode and I thought. Shit. <laughs> and I just thought, shit. what? No, I didn't think shit. it was shit. I thought, <laughs> shit, that was good. <laughs> and at that point, I was like, okay, that's really annoying. Um, and then it was back when the old YouTube layout was where they, where like you could, where you could have the little extra thing that would pop up and you could scroll back through the previous uploads of that person and they'd uploaded every episode um and the furthest and like a couple pages back it went it was lunar eclipsed was the halloween episode and so it was the clip that i had seen previously and liked so i thought you know what fuck it i'll watch that one and then i ended up watching that and i liked it and then i thought you know what i'm gonna start from the beginning and so i did and then I just marathoned it the uh, the rest of the day. Um, I marathoned season one and the first couple of episodes of season two all in one day. Yeah, um, I had the same one, I think. Yeah, and, um, and I went back to school the next day 
And you were all like, hey guys, oh, no, ju- no. look who just got 20% cooler. And then you <laughs> like, bro, no, sure. guys. No, well, I went to bed that night kind of thinking, oh my God, why the fuck did I just do that? Why the fuck did I just waste my Sunday just watching that? And I was kind of like in this state where I was like, why? What am I going to do with my life? What the fuck have I done? And then um, I'm ne- I was like, I'm never going to be able to get out of this now. I mean, I'm going to be stuck in this forever. I don't want to be stuck in this forever. But yeah, next day of school, I was in a chemistry lesson. And um, and my chemistry teacher was rattling on about, oh, yes, you need to revise for your exams and stuff. They're coming up in the future. And a friend of mine, who I sit next to my chemistry lesson, just turned to me and said, I, I don't need to, I don't, I don't, I really don't need to worry about revising. I mean, that's future me's problem. And I was like, you did not just say that. You did not just make a reference to the episode that was just on the previous Saturday. I did actually say that, but I was just like, that, I, that's what I was thinking of in my head. And you I just were like, at him. <gasps> you dirty horse fucker. And I just looked at him and I was like, <laughs> I just looked at him and I was like, <gasps> Get out. <laughs> Owen just stood up in the middle of his class and was like, You watch my little pony <laughs> no, too. No, but I was just like, I was it just turned like, out to be a coincidence. And he's no, like, Oh, what no, the no, fuck? He, no, but he did watch it. That was the thing. I didn't question I, I didn't question him on it then, but I was just like, but I just looked at him and I just and I just started and I just started laughing in a kind of yeah I get what you I get what you're referring to, and then he was all like, "Why are you laughing?" And I was like, "Cause no one else a reference to," and then he was like, "Okay," uh. I was like, "No, you bastard! That is, and it bloody well was as well because it wasn't it." it I, I, I went for ages thinking it could just be a massive coincidence, but it can't have been. He was fucking the like the two days after the episode aired made an exact reference to a prominent mention in the episode, and yeah, but and yeah, and I've I've, I've sidetracked a bit actually, but I guess that's nice. But yeah, and then that night I just watched the rest of the series, and then I was like, hey. I like this. This is good. Um, it then went for ages before I um, mentioned anything about it to anyone. Um, I guess it. I guess there was a point where, um, where for some bizarre, strange reason, I made a series of videos where I watched the episodes as if I hadn't watched them before. And, really? Yeah. Are they still up? No, they're not. Fuck. Yeah. Are they unlisted? I want to see no, them. they're not. Uh, they're they're gone, and I don't even have them on my hard drive anymore because I, oh. yeah, cause I I I didn't do it on purpose. But I, I I there was a point where I lost all of my YouTube videos, and um, they were included. Um, yeah. So so I so I lost them. Um, and Christian didn't even watch them, but after I uploaded them, he heckled me so much about <laughs> it. Um. He didn't even watch the videos where I was, where I all played it cool, and I was like, you know what? I, I, it's not great, but it's not that bad. I can see why people like it and stuff. While, like, while in the actual thing, he's got his like twenty percent cooler hat on, <laughs> yeah, and his brony shirt in like all bold, yeah, hugging his rainbow down. <laughs> yeah, he's like literally like. Leaning against his rainbow desk, like kind of rocking side to side, going, but, you know, this shows it's all right, I guess. Yeah, but but basically stroking like, her mane. Christy was heckling me so much because he because ever since he kind of introduced me to it, we just had a history of just taking the piss. Um, on almost any occasion, the uh, the plushy, that. Plushie. The Lyra plushie, the, Lyra yeah. plushie, the other the person who named their child after the, uh, who named their child Pinkamina is of course Smith. Um, yeah, you're not just incriminating yourself; you're incriminating me. But no, but but we did that before <laughs> because I mean that's what a lot of people did, Christian. No, that is what a lot yeah, of people did. It is. I mean, it, like a lot of people in the fandom can kind of can kind of sympathise with those who just took the piss out of it for ages and we did but at that point during the whole Lyra plushie thing and the other and the, the 
baby thing. I was watching the show. Um, and I wasn't really kind of, I wasn't really hiding it as such. I just wasn't being so obvious as to say, I watched the show. I never once, I, cause, cause I completely agree that there were kind of stupid things to do, but, um, but never once said like, oh, I watched the show, blah, 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 blah. And never once said, oh, all bronies are faggots or whatever during that phase, because then I would have been a massive hypocrite. But I never just gave, but I, but I never just, but I never just said, oh, I watched the show. And, um, I guess then there was a point where like, I started, I like told some of my friends and then they were just like, okay. But one of my friend's reactions was hilarious to it. One of my friends said, oh, you used to hate ponies, now you love them. And I thought that was... He just said it spontaneously when I told him, and I was like, that is the best reaction to someone being told that someone watches MLP ever. But yeah, but in the end, no one gave a shit. I kind of... There was the odd joke that was made, but it was kind of just... It was just a little... It was just the odd kind of thing. It wasn't like... It was kind of something I joined in with. Um, and then some of my friends did genuinely ask, like, I mean, what is there in the show? And I said, well, Why? I said, well, that's animation, voice acting, et cetera, et cetera. And then I eventually got one of my friends to watch it. And he basically went for the same shit that I did. Um, even down to... Did he hide it from his friends and make videos of him watching well, no, it? No, no, but I mean... Is even... that like the thing that every single no, no. Bernie goes But to? I mean, even down to the point where he where he kind of, he hid it, but not for very long. Um, he basically, he was, he, he even went through the kind of thing where he was like kind of worried to tell it, even me, like kind of, he was kind of worried to say to even me, oh, that, um, that he watches the show, even even though I was the one who got him into it. I oh, you should have just turned around and be like, I was fucking joking. No, I was, I was fucking joking, mate. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I I think. But yeah, I I guess and I, and he realised too that no one gives a shit. And then I told, I met you, Matt, on UK <gasps> Equestria. But I really? didn't. What well, I didn't meet you there. I knew who you were beforehand, of course. Yeah. Uh, do I? Should I go into that story? Uh, that it's just Christian and Owen used to do a podcast right. about games called Crest Cast, and I listened to that podcast. Yeah. And um, I joined the UK of Equestria forums, which Owen was already on, and Owen recognised my name because I always bug those guys to yeah, do more Yeah, he was the up. only one who watched it, and it was, but it was brilliant. But it was brilliant. Like I recognised you and everything, and then I was like, oh my god, I have someone to talk to about this shit um, that I kind of know. And yeah, kind of, kind of know. Um, but yeah, and then, and then you just convinced me to say it's a Christian, and then I was like, okay. And then Christian was like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> so was that could be... What? But really, I was burning up inside. It killed me. <laughs> but the thing was, and you know, Owen was like, <gasps> actually, 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 it kind of did burn you up inside. You'll get on, you're, you're getting onto that. You'll probably get onto that in a bit. But it kind of did. And um, yeah, so basically, no one gave a shit, basically, when I said, I think... Yeah. I mean, like, even, we'll hype it up even my parents know, and they just kind of know, not because I told them, but know because I have pony shit. And they kind <laughs> of saw... That's usually an indicator. Yeah, and they kind of just saw it, and they were like, is that my little pony? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And, and no one gives what? a shit. And then um was like, what are you, a hater? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, like, no one gives a shit. I don't get this whole kind of mentality of oh it's almost as bad as like saying you're gay. But it's oh, not. it's really not. Don't like even, no what? Don't even start. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I won't. I won't go there. But yeah, it's really not that bad. My experiences were fine. I think I worried a bit too much with Christian heckling me. Um, yeah, because he like heckled you before when it was a joke. I can see why you think, hey, I actually yeah, do watch exa- it. Exactly. Yeah. So I was. Just- I, I was just I was just at the point where I, it wasn't really so much as I was worried that like Christian was going to like ditch me or something. It was more like I was thinking, well, he's just going to bring it up all the time, and it's just going to be like a that kind of 
the, that kind of joke at Owen's expense, where I kind of just think, I, 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 I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> Got better things to do than deal with Christian making jokes at my expense about just doing so, about watching a TV show. And because it's Basically, Chris, it'd I'm be a... the same joke. I'm a terrible <laughs> person. So, uh, well, I terrible think... person. I think, <laughs> can I just make one point? Um, oh yeah, sure. I go through. I, I think this is something that a lot of people go through. I don't remember what I was like, what my attitude personally was like before I watched the show towards the fans. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but oh, I do. I, 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 I do remember saying like, I do remember saying like, oh, that's weird. But I don't remember it as if it was something I did. If that makes sense, mm. I remember it as something like. It, but in in retrospect, I just think, wow, I was really, really arrogant, <laughs> just really ignorant, really like kind of, just so unaccepting to just kind of sit down and maybe just give it a try once. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it just kind of makes me think, if people, I mean, something I've always said is, if you're not too keen on the show, if you're not too keen on the fan base, and you refuse to give it a try. You're ignorant. If you're not too keen on the show and you're not too keen on the fan base, but you've watched an episode and you still didn't like it, then cool. I will shake your hand and agree with you there. Okay, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And to be honest, I thought that's exactly how Christian would react when he watched it. So, Christian. Yeah, that nice transition. Christian, how did you become 20% cooler? In 10 seconds flat. Oh! Um... Well, I, I I knew of it, you know, if you're kind of in the kind of internet kind of culture sort of thing, you, you're aware of its existence. And I thought I'll give it a give it a go. Watched the first two episodes and didn't like it. Like, at all. I, I, I went into it with a really negative uh, mind mind frame anyway, a mindset. Kind of went into it, you know, wanting not to like it in the first place. Yeah. So... Um, it d- doesn't help that the first two episodes are like I think we all agree that they're not oh, the best. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I, I did actually but... start on the first two episodes, which is I think why I don't mind them. But I can totally see where people are coming from where they say like, "Oh well, I started watching the first two episodes and didn't like it." And in fact, I had a friend who started watching, who watched the first two episodes and said he didn't like it, and then watched another one and said, "Actually, this is good. Why didn't I like that?" But yeah, anyway, carry on. I've lost my place now. Um, oh yeah, you said you uh, went to, you went into it with a negative mindset. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it kind of just ended there. Like um, I I didn't watch it for months and months after that. Just you know, six months a year. I I don't even know how long it was uh, since then. But then um, oh uh, you know, Owen says, oh yeah. The, I don't even it just came out on the Skype cool like just naturally in conversations so I thought you, you know what if Owen likes it there's probably something to it that I'm missing um watched it again watched episode 3 4 I don't know I forget how many episodes, episodes I watched then but it, I, I saw yeah there's something in this there's something um you know this, this isn't bad and um yeah kept watching it and it was good it was, it good. was good. Oh my god, I was waiting then, for that. Yeah, same. I was like, <laughs> Chris is going to say it. When's, When's he going to say it? When's he going to say it? When we do have that panel at whatever convention, people are going to be like, oh, "Can you say it was good, Christian?" <laughs> and then he'll just, and then he'll just kind of lean into the microphone and just go, "No, it was good." <laughs> and then everyone will just be cheering and clapping, and there'll be riots in the street. <laughs> They'll be partying late into the night because Christian said it was good. Anyway, the party would be good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was uh, good. And then I went on this website called EquestriaConfidential.co.uk, which had brilliant analysis and and news coverage and uh, uh, fan works. It's fandom, just brilliant. Yeah. It's it's brilliant stuff, and it's definitely definitely on par with Equestria Daily, which is a quality news source. Please, please don't be mad with me. Um, please don't sue us, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> please. Yeah, um, I guess, I guess, so you went into it and you, you, so you, so you liked it. 
Yeah, oh, obviously. No, no, I... No, no, he hates it. Yeah, he hates it. He can't stand the show. But Christian is an example of someone who, like, you, like, to the point where you really kind of hated it. Like, and... Uh, Well, okay, maybe not the show. I didn't really hate it, no, but I, I, I... There are people who go out there and try and find the worst of the fandom... Uh, you know, for, for shits and giggles and to have a laugh at it. And I kind of like... I, that was mainly what you were exposed to. Yeah, that that, that really was, yeah. I, and I, and I, I did try to convince you for ages, even before I watched it, that that's not what everyone is like, and you were having none of it. <laughs> oh yeah, like, obviously, like... Obviously, that's, that's not always typical. That That's going to be the... Uh, the funniest of the funniest, the kind of worst of the worst. But actually, uh, there like, are I moderates, can... creatives, and even hipster bronies. <laughs> exactly, but like you, you kind of like just expect it not to be the uh, the typical. But uh, that's kind of what all I was exposed to, and all I really cared about, and it's all I really cared for uh, looking at at the time. So you know, I, I did. I did. Uh, I was a bit of a douche regarding it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> well, I, I think I mean, a lot of people. That's what so. Owen's been hinting at the entire time. Yeah, yeah. I was a bit of a douche. <laughs> I, uh, Chris, I think I, I think a lot of people were. So I think I, the reason why I wanted you to say it was because. <laughs> no, I mean the reason why I wanted you to say it was because. Admit it, Christian. No, no. Was, Admit it, Christian. You're a be, bad was, person. Was and the reason I wanted you to say it was so we have some variation in that I I didn't really care too much. I thought it was a bit weird, but I wasn't. Re- I didn't go actively seeking out shit. Whereas you actively did go seeking out shit, and you were a bit of a douche. And it's kind I of just, the contrast. I'm in... trying to shame Christian. No, well, but I wanted to point the contrast that I wasn't a douche, and it, you no, were. It's like, oh, but it's yeah. just it's great. I didn't do anything, and I watched the show, and I minded my own business, but Christian was a fucking dick. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I just mean so, so we're not all just repeating the same shit. So we have some variation in our content. That's like we had variation because the stories were different. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Should I do mine now? Yeah, Matt. It, well, we we didn't really go in chronological order, but mine and Christian's story is kind of interlinked. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why we did Chris next. Yes. Uh, right, so me, I don't actually know when I heard about bronies. They just kind of appeared. I was just kind of like, oh, those are the bronies in the comment section of YouTube videos. <laughs> Uh, you know, with the pony icons and everything. So I had these two friends, and we were all kind of into cartoons, and we'd always talk about them. And then uh, this one day, they're like, oh, we just watched this show, My Little Pony, and it's great. You should watch it. And I was like, another time, maybe. And then, like, they just didn't shut up. They're like, no, no, you've got to watch it. This will, like, blow your mind. It's, like, the best thing ever. I was like, fine, I will watch it. This is like, um, so I do, so basically, there was this, I'm trying to figure out a way to put this with that name. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're, you're right, man, you keep cutting out and like repeating yourself. Uh, <laughs> right, so I work for a certain channel, which means that I have oh, to I see. Right. read a lot of the comments, a lot of them are bronies, and those were the people that I was like, um... That I saw as bronies, and they were all so annoying. Like, <laughs> if something happened in the video, the, like the number twenty, it would be ah twenty percent cooler, ha ha ha. And it's like shut up. So I watched the show. I watched the first two, like Christian did, s- with such a negative mindset. I was literally like laughing at it the whole time, and I was like doing other shit. And I stopped watching halfway through episode two. I was like, this is terrible. Why would you watch this? And then, so these two friends I had before, this didn't make them stop. This made them say it more. (laughs) So they kept doing that, and I was just... And, like, we didn't really talk about cartoons anymore. That's what they fucking talked about. I was like, no, I'm done. Bye. So we (laughs) we didn't really talk much after that. Um, And then later on, I'm kind of a fan of Ken Ashcroft's music. So I heard the uh, 20% Cooler song. I like stumbled upon it. And I was like, this is really good. And then from that, I got to Alex S. Because he did his remix of that song. 
and I heard all his other stuff, and I was like, this is really good. So if someone, like, I kind of thought that if this many people were, like, inspired by the show, then there must be something to it. They're not just, like, 12-year-olds in the comment section of YouTubers' videos. So I watched it again, and I liked it. It was good. Yeah. And, I guess... Uh, I guess in our stores, we've kind of got... We have got, like, the kind of... All of the conditions, if you go, I mean... To, like, kind of watching the show. Because I watched it... Because I just found... Because I just thought one day... Fuck oh, no. it. You watched it because you had people saying... Watch it. And then I found... Yeah. And then yeah, but, Chris- yeah, yeah, yeah. And Christian watched it because he thought... Well, you know... Other people like it. Owen likes so, it. Owen likes it, so why not? And I guess oh. that's kind of the three main ways that people like the show, I guess. So the people yeah, get to was... watch the show. And, uh... Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so basically... Yeah, so when I watched the show, I watched um, all of the episodes in, like, a day or two. Mm. And then I, it was, like, literally just in time for the season finale. And I got to witness all of the gack. Um, oh. I keep saying I keep making wait was that no that's not even a season 2 no Gak was season 3 I, I, I swear I did this last podcast too I always get those two episodes confused for some reason it's because they both have the fucking cadence in it and, oh, <laughs> they both I have the everything. cadence in it the cadence that one that <laughs> thing yeah yeah, so that's how I watched the show, and now I watch it all the time. And it was kind of nice because um, after watching the season two finale, I kind of um, had all of this kind of fan content to just dive into, oh, which yeah. means the kind of space from season two to season three didn't even exist for me. <laughs> I, I well, didn't. I barely noticed. I think the thing for me was it. it there was kind of this very large portion of that where I was just looking through fan content and everything but I guess um, I guess that I did reach a point where I was like this needs to come sooner (laughs) please (laughs) I remember actually I met someone at my school who started my school this year or this school year should I say who watched the show and was full on like watching the show and everything and I talked to him about it for a bit and I thought that was quite nice Oh, so, uh, I I uh, forgot to mention too. Oh, yeah. um, so how like other people, how they oh, yeah. saw me. Um, so I didn't really tell anyone because I didn't see the point. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how to bring this up in normal conversation, so I'm not going to. I even had like fucking pony things lying around my room and no one noticed. <laughs> But it was actually I had I had pony things lying around my room and then my girlfriend came around and noticed them and I was like shit <laughs> I was gonna hide those Owen <laughs> What? And she was like, Owen, there's something you wanna tell me? <laughs> no, she was like, You like my little pony too and I was like oh, Yes <laughs> I love you even more now. <laughs> no. But I, I wasn't like that, no. But yeah, I was, I was it, Okay. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So it's quite funny. Oh yeah, so basically, it was a thing of, um, I think, if I remember right, my sister actually saw me on my phone, and I was looking at a pony thing, it was like on a journey to like a restaurant or something, I don't even remember, and then so she said that, and then so she knew, so for my birthday, like last month, she got me one of the Build-A-Bear Rainbow Dashes. And then um, my parents found out from that because it's kind of hard to find, like, hide a fucking Rainbow Dash that's like they're pretty big. Yeah, they and then so no one really cares apart. Like my dad doesn't care, but he like he's like, "How's it going, Brony?" And I'm like, "Shut the f- dad, please." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he he likes to take the piss, but you well, know, I, I don't even think my dad knows what My Little Pony is. So your dad's not like 
bro her. No, no, I don't think he knows what it is, full stop. I don't think he's ever known what it is. He's kind of... See, now, this is where you go, Dad, do you know what My Little Pony is? And he was like, I watch it all the time. It's my favorite <laughs> show. Yes, yeah, that's what it does. He's like, yeah. but I, mean, Owen, like, I was waiting for this moment. Give me a bro hoof in 10 <laughs> seconds. Because, because, like, my sister never had My Little Pony stuff. So... I, I and like none of my cousins ever did, so there was no so there was no reason to buy My Little Pony stuff for anyone. There was no reason to be exposed to it. I, there was I it make I, it sound like a disease. No, but I mean there was no reason to be exposed, exposed to its existence. Exposed to the Brony. I, I I guess he might. I I just kind of always thought he might not know what it is. He seen my. I remember he saw what they were once. And he came in my room and, like, moved my ponies. And I knew they were moved because they were all led down like, on their side. And he must have, he like, like... killing them? He, he must, the show he must that have, much. like... He must have, like, picked them up and been like, what the fuck are these? And then just dropped them. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I fucking imagine him walking in the room, just, like, picking them all up and just kind of, like, slamming them against the table. Like, and, like, okay... No, so the mind's gonna be a brony. <laughs> and I've got some on, like, my... I've got some, like, around my desk and I've occasionally seen him, like, just kind of stare at them. And I'm like, hello? <laughs> my face like, is here. That Labour Dash one is very attractive. <laughs> and you're like, I know, Dad. I know. But yeah, um, I, I guess no one gives a shit really, do they? That is a, that's the thing we want to that's drive home. That's the main thing, is yeah. no, one, no one cares. It's like, I really dislike it when people make any sort of deal about it. It's because you're not, you're not special. You no. watch a TV show. Yeah. It's like, I can understand, you know, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. To yeah, it's watch. embarrassing, but it's not like it's a embarrassing, big but deal. it's not a big deal. It's like once people know, it's like c- cool. Okay. I guess. Okay, or they might want to know why you watch it, or you know, but it's not going to be like a yeah. No, no one cares. If you are out there and you are listening and you are and you have not told anyone, then just fucking tell your friends or something. Because there's no point. I mean. Like, if if you're, like, worried about people judging you or whatever, just don't. No one gives so, a shit. The thing I regret about me is what I should have done is... Um, it's a shame, because I wasn't in, like, college or anything at the time. I should have... Uh, what I suggest to any dear listeners still listening at this point... Yeah. Uh, buy yourself a Rainbow Dash cosplay. Um, what? I'm sure you should be able to get one somewhere, right? So buy this Rainbow Dash cosplay and literally go into your school or college with it on and go around and bro hoof everyone and just make all the references and you will have so many friends and everyone will know. Well, you know, actually, me. actually, actually, you say that, you say that and you joke and everything, but... I mean, it is. Yeah, but uh, exactly, like, legit. If you do that and you do it with, with like the least amount of shit if you give the least amount of shit about the whole situation and just go around and just do it casually as if it's just something you do all the time i'm sorry then owen people won't make if such a big deal to school it. with a rainbow dash cosplay and start broping people you're gonna get the shit kicked out of you really though <laughs> yeah <laughs> what no but i, I, I of course I, you are what kind of really? school did you go to Obviously, a better school than what you. Were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, it's like anything that's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, no. But I think please don't do that. No, if, but if you I, go I, to I, school like Owens, maybe where everyone fucking walks around in weird ass costumes, and that's normal at Owens. No, school. I mean, I'm not saying it's. If, you're, I'm not... if you go to a normal school like me, don't do that. I'm not saying it's normal. I'm just saying if you go about it as if you just own the place and just don't give a shit, or not necessarily in cosplay, but if you just, if you if you went about as a joke one day, don't give a shit, then. <laughs> then I guess, I no. guess maybe there's maybe people will be like, don't give a shit, man. Give a sh-. Maybe maybe people will be like, okay, this person obviously doesn't give a shit. So yeah, uh, this person no, it, is obviously it, it, a social reject and has absolutely no idea how to interact with people. Let's get him. <laughs> maybe in your school. In all seriousness, no. 
the best way to go about it is to not give a shit. Is to not draw, like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just about to say the best way to go about it is to not draw attention to yourself. No, I mean, the best way to go about it is to not draw attention to the fact that you're awkward about it. Yeah, just like, don't really... If, you know, if it comes up, say, but it's not really a thing that you have to say, yeah, I watch it, what are you going to do? Haters going to hate, ha ha ha. It's like, shut up, Just, just treat it like anything else. If someone does, it's coincidentally, if someone does go into like college or whatever with like a Rainbow Dash cosplay and just go around bro hoofing everyone, please send me that video. Please just send it to us at contact at equestriaconfidential.co.uk. Because and if you have any, like, if you're listening this far and you have any like stories about like um, how you got into the show. If that's interesting or anything, you can leave them in the comments or email them to us at that yes. same address. And we will read out the emails. We will. We will. We'll read out anything you send us. Even if you send us an email that says butts, I will personally read that out. In your special butts voice. I have a butts voice? Well, a voice that you have reserved entirely for saying the word butts. So I'll have to come up with this new voice for next week. But... <laughs> Yeah, well, I will oh. definitely do that. Yeah, um, so I guess that wraps things up, right? Wraps it up. Yep, okay. So thank you for listening to this, the sixth episode of your Question Confidential podcast. Uh, as mentioned, if you've got anything you want to send us, then please do via contact at questionconfidential.co.uk. You can visit us on Twitter at EQ underscore confidential. Uh, you can visit us on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash uh, uh, the EQ Confidential. Um, our YouTube account is www.youtube.com forward slash EQ Confidential. You can go on the website, as always, uh, where you can read the articles that we mentioned and check regularly for articles that we post regularly. The website is www.questionconfidential.co.uk. Um, again, you can submit to us your content that you want to be featured on the website, whether it's artwork, fan fiction, videos, music, whatever, just submit it to us via the submit page on the Equestria Confidential website. And I, I, I suppose that's, that's, yeah. that's pretty much that, that, that pretty much sums things up. Oh, oh no, no, actually, if you own an Android device, then you can go on go in your browser. And you can go on uh, on the Equestria Confidential website in your browser, and from there you can download the uh, the Equestria Confidential app for Android. Oh boy! Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's not great, but it's shut okay. up. This is the best shut app up, ever. You should all download it. Yeah, it, it's it's basically it's just a massively convenient way to get news from to visit a question confidential without going on the website Best website on the internet yes so uh, again, thank you for listening guys uh, we'll see you again same time next week um, yeah so yeah bye every horse bye bye